live yes we are hello everyone nice to see you happy monday i hope you had a wonderful weekend today we're going to be talking about whether you feel sometimes somewhat or completely frustrated in your career and so you may not be feeling this a hundred percent but you may sometimes catch thoughts that you're kind of not wanting to look at because you love acting and you love your career and you're passionate but somewhere deep down sometimes you're feeling a certain level of frustration like ah you know i'm putting all of this effort in here all of this time all of this heart and passion money for training and it's not showing up for me the way I want. It's not giving me back what I'm putting in. And so there's a level of frustration. For example, like you may be studying a lot. Um, you may be working really hard on your auditions. You may be really wanting to give it your best and then you tape and it doesn't really work. It's, you tape and it takes forever to do it. You tape and you have like 50 takes and you don't know which one to choose. You send it and you don't even get a reply. Or when you do shoot, there's some frustration about maybe how the industry is going, the ambience on set, like how you're treating with disrespect. You may be having frustration because in a way when you look at, you know, the actors that you adore, some part of you knows you could do it, but then there's another part of you that's like, I'm never going to get to that level. I'm never going to get that kind of role. I'm never going to get that kind of opportunity. And so that's creating frustration too. And so if you're putting all of these things together, like this is the ideal, but somewhere inside, I think I can't get to it. And then when I'm you know, having opportunities and I go for it and I tape and I do my audition, it doesn't feel great. It's not even fun to act. It actually feels a little bit painful and frustrating. And then when I put everything that I have, I know that I'm not really as great as when I was rehearsing it. So I don't book. All of that is part of your energy. All of that is creating a sort of thought, emotion, and loop that a lot, it becomes a belief that maybe you'll never get what you want out of this passion that you have, out of this career choice that you made a while back and that you studied for and you're really wanting, but it's just like starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt even your body. Like you're feeling migraines or tensions or you're having autoimmune disorders. Like it's, it's just cluttering your energy. It's not like, oh, I'm showing up and I'm excited to show up for my career and I believe in what's possible for me and it makes me feel happy and I'm so happy to audition and here I am showing up open-hearted, delivering the performance of my heart and you know, that's my art and I don't care if anyone likes it because this is what I did and I walk away. You're not feeling like that. You're showing up and the more you're accumulating frustration, the more you're wiring that in your nervous system and the more you're kind of starting to believe that it's not going to be possible, that it's not going to happen. So if you're starting to believe that it's not going to be happening and you feel that and you keep pushing it down because you're like, oh no, I don't want to be with those feelings. I want to still make sure it's going to work and you keep just running faster and reading more books and doing more classes and paying more and more for a better acting teacher and a better workshop and a better headshot and a better reel. You're doing all of the things out there, but deep inside, there's this little voice that says, mm-mm. This doesn't feel good and I don't believe it's possible anymore. You might never have shared that with anyone, not even with yourself. You not maybe haven't even sat with it yourself. Believing it's fun, believing you actually are great enough and talented enough to get the roles you want. Like really like and and being okay with the rules of this game which is you can't book every audition. 
right? So maybe, hi Edward, maybe you have that frustration going on and though you think repressing it and pushing it away and not looking at it is the way for you to continue and to go, no, no, but that's okay. Let's just not think about that. I can do it. I can do it. But inside, that's not the energy you're carrying around. That's not the energy you're bringing into a meeting with an, a new agent. That's not the energy you're bringing to your headshots. That's not the energy you're bringing to your tapes. Because that little piece of frustration that's in you is part of your energy. And if it's part of your energy, it's going to show on your headshots. It's going to show in your tapes. It's going to show in your meetings. It's going to show when you're networking. It's going to leak through and pollute and bring the toxicity of that to everything you do. So suddenly, that little ego toxic loop that you have about you, the industry, the career, the fun, all of that stuff that's missing, you're, the more you're pushing it away, the more it creeps up in your material, in your auditions. And the more you look away from it, the worse it gets because it's there and you have to address it. You have to look at it. You're frustrated. You're in pain. You do not believe it's possible for you anymore. Let's take an analogy. Let's say that you set yourself to run the marathon. Do you think you would ever be able to run it and that you would enjoy running and that you would, you know, have a good vibe with the people that you're running with if you don't believe you can finish it? No. If you don't believe it's possible for you to run the marathon, you will not run the marathon. You'll hurt yourself if you run it. You won't enjoy it. You won't finish it. And you won't have a yummy energy to share with the participants. Same goes for your acting career. If you don't believe it's possible anymore because it's too frustrating and you're keeping all of that down and it affects your beliefs about what's possible, you will not get the acting career that you want. So all this to say that we've realized that this was really present in a lot of people and that's what it starts with. If you don't truly believe 100% that it's possible, you're never going to do what it takes. You're never going to do what it takes. You're not going to show up pure, authentic, free, truthful. You're not. Because part of you is like, no, it's frustrating. I hate it. I don't believe it's possible anymore. This sucks. It doesn't feel good. I hate it. If you're showing up with that vibe, your energy cannot project you, propulse you, what's the word I'm looking for? It can't enhance you into the yumminess that you are, into the actions that you need to take. It can't. If you don't believe it's possible, you will not show up. A mask will show up. A fake identity, a fake confidence that wants to absolutely believe it's going to be possible, but in the background, you're numbing the fact that you're frustrated and you think it's not possible. It's toxic. It's addictive. It doesn't work. So that's why I created a very short, intensive little journey of three days. It's called the Actor's Rehab. And I think it's actually the first thing you should look at is if I'm not 100% sure I want to do this, I can do this, and I'm going to enjoy to do this, you won't do it. So first of all, rehab yourself out of these toxic loops that you have around acting, around your career, so that you can think again, oh yeah, it is possible. Oh yes, I'm a full fuck yes to my career. I don't care if I'm going to fall flat on my face. I don't care if I'm going to get no's. I'm doing it. Same goes for your marathon. I don't care if I've never run in my life. I don't care if I'm in the worst shape. I'm doing it. That decision, that belief that you will do it, even if you don't know how, is the single most important starting ingredient. If you don't have that decision that believes it's possible and that you want to do it and that you're going to enjoy it, you, you won't do it. You just won't run. Same for your career. If you don't believe you want it, you're going to enjoy it, and it's possible, you're not going to do any of the things that work. You're, you're just not. 
right? So um, text me, um, not text, but comment or DM me the word rehab and we can send you a link to that um, three-day training. It's going to make you go from feeling like bleh, depleted. It's going to actually excavate maybe something that you've pressed down for a long time, which is, I don't believe it's possible. This is so frustrating and annoying. It might take it out for you so that you can look at it and so that we can move through it and past it. It's going to make you feel going from flat, kind of half depressed, half frustrated. Maybe you have frustration 10% of the time. Maybe you have 90% of the time. You need to get to 100% excited. Full fuck yes about your acting career. Unmessable with. Unfuckable with. Like, I want it. I want it. I'm ready for it. I am giving it my all. I am giving it my 100%. When you have that, then everything is possible. When you don't have that determination, that decision, that belief that it's possible for you, everything else that you'll do won't matter. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let me know in the comments. And again, if you want the link to the three-day rehab, make sure, um, yes, Tiana, we work with um, actors all around the world since everything we do is online and we have a lot of French actors um, working with us. So... Yeah, type rehab and we will send you the three-day training, the link to the training so that you can read all about it and you can decide if you want to get to 100% decided, clear, unmessable with, unwaveringly committed to yourself, to your acting career. I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm wishing you a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday for an interview. Bye.